What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. For today's video we're going to be talking about the NFL playoff games that we have on tomorrow. We have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers traveling up to the Green Bay Packers and we have for the second game, I mean, yeah for the second game we had the Buffalo Bills traveling to Kansas City for the headliner on Sunday night. So for the first game, Tom Brady and the Buccaneers traveling up to Green Bay and the Aaron Rodgers, Green Bay Packers. So the way I see this game going is basically Aaron Rodgers is great, Tom Brady. You know, I've, I've always said this his, their whole career is that if Aaron Rodgers was at the Patriots for the same, same time Tom Brady was, Aaron Rodgers would have seven to eight champion, Super Bowl championships. And, you know, you can say whatever you want. He's not this, he's not that, he's this, he's that. But Aaron Rodgers is very talented and he's probably the best quarterback to ever play the game of football. Just watch him play, watch what he does. He's elite. No one can do what he does because he's special. Um, and Tom Brady, to me, is good. Aaron Rodgers is great. So that's going to be a big uh, bouncing point to watch in this game, see how they both perform. But really, I have Aaron Rodgers. Basically, all they have to do is keep doing what they've been doing, like they did against the Rams, throw it. All their games that they've done this season, they would throw it. Aaron Rodgers is elite. Just keep it in the air. You don't need to run it a lot. You can just throw it the whole time. I mean, everything's going to be open. You have the greatest quarterback on your team. So just throw, keep it tight. Um, you don't want to play from behind, so it's good to keep a lead. Defense got to step up. They have a great secondary. Lock down some of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers receivers. And if they can do that, they'll have a great chance of winning uh, by a touchdown, maybe even possibly two or three touchdowns. I mean, they're, they've just been killing people this year. I mean, they're, they're just too good of an offense, and their defense is, is right behind them. So, And for the Bucks, their chance is basically, you know, Tom Brady, has to, he has to be great. He has to play on Aaron Rodgers' level. He has to play up to an MVP level to have a chance of winning. Um, they have a good run game. They have a better run game than the Packers. So if they can keep a balanced attack with running and throwing, they can attack that uh, bu uh, Packers line and see how see how that works throughout the game. Uh, but still, I have uh, Antonio Brown has to step up for the Packers or for the Bucks and help Tom Brady out. That's a big that'd be a big addition to them and a uh, big help for Tom Brady. So I'm interested to see how that plays out, how that pans out because Antonio Brown's a great receiver. They need him to step up if they want to have a chance at getting the upset at Green Bay. Now, everyone's talking about, yes, Tampa Bay did beat the Bucks, uh, the Packers earlier, earlier in the year. Yeah, but that was way long ago. Way long ago. If you know football, you know seasons change, you know teams change as the year goes on. That game in football terms was a while, while ago. So, I don't see that same thing painting out. Maybe the other way, maybe the Packers way, because since that game, the Packers have gotten very much better and the Bucks have gotten very much worse. So there's definitely a difference in a barrier which that game provides, and I think this is going to be a very different game, very different outcome. And I'm going to pick the Packers to win this game simply because Aaron Rodgers is too great. That offense is too great this year, and I'm cheering for him to get a Super Bowl, you know. He needs another Super Bowl, and, and, and he's the MVP. So I'm going with the Packers in that game. Now for the Sunday night game. The Buffalo Bills travel to Kansas City. You know, this one, I can see going uh, in a great way for the Bills because they have what it takes to compete. They have a great quarterback. He can throw it. He's right behind Mahomes when it comes to arm strength, not talent, but arm strength. He can rip it in there when it needs to be ripped in there. They have a great receiving core led by Stephon Diggs, Cole Beasley. A lot of people like that. They have a great... Nucleus of talent on the passing game. The running game isn't as strong as it should be, but you don't really need to run it against the Kansas City Chiefs anyways because you're going to be ha having to score a lot, and you don't want to fall behind against the Kansas City Chiefs because you saw what happened to the Browns. They had to come back, and they fell too short because they are having to play from behind, and that's what the Bills don't need to do. Um, so, yeah, that's how I see that going for the Bills. They need to do that to have a chance. Their defense has to step up. Make a few stops to get that Kansas City Chiefs offense off the field. Now for the Chiefs to win, obviously, I don't really have a game plan for them. I mean, they, they just have to do what they've been doing all year for the past two years. Uh, 
Patrick Mahomes throwing it, Travis Kelsey, uh, Tyreek Hill, Sammy Watkins. They have, they just have too many weapons um, at their disperse. And it's going to be, I think it's going to be a shootout. I think it's going to be in the 30 to 40 range, both teams. It's going to come down to a last possession, probably. Um, but yeah, I definitely a great Sunday night game. My heart wants the Bills to win because as a Browns fan, we kind of had the same franchise story, so I kind of want the Bills to win. But at the same time, you're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs, and you got to be smart when picking games. So I'm going to have to go with the Kansas City Chiefs to play the Green Bay Packers in the Super Bowl. Um, it's just kind of hard to bet against the Chiefs right now. They have too many weapons, too many talent. They're at home. It's just, it's, it's, I don't know, but, but I can see it going with the Bills. I can see the Bills winning. They can definitely win, but I'm going to have the Chiefs winning this game. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, if any of your teams are in it, let me know. Let me know how you think they're going to do. Let me know what the outcome of the game is in and who your game picks are for the games uh, tomorrow. So let me know. Be sure to like this video, comment whatever I just told you, and subscribe. Peace.